Hi, have you ever wondered how your style affects the way people perceive you? Sometimes, something as simple as a new hairstyle can make you look more intelligent, attractive, and trustworthy. But it's not always easy to find that style that suits you the best. I've always been a fan of trying new styles and experimenting with different looks, so I decided to do an experiment and use artificial intelligence to rate my pictures, so that I could find out what style makes me look my best. Over the years, I've had all sorts of hairstyles, long hair, short hair, straight hair, curly hair, you name it. Some of them were good and some of them were, well, pretty bad. It was not always obvious to me which was which until I looked back at the old photos because I didn't have an objective way to judge my own style. But now I do. Well, sort of. Today we'll ask OpenAI's vision and language model, Clip, to judge my pictures and rate them on eight different dimensions. Perceived intelligence, trustworthiness, attractiveness, competence, likability, confidence, authenticity, and creativeness. Clip was trained on hundreds of millions of image and text pairs collected from a variety of publicly available sources on the internet. So in a way, asking Clip for its opinion is like asking for the internet's opinion. To get the internet's opinion on all the styles I've ever had, I scanned my entire photo album for my pictures. I used face detection and recognition models to detect and crop my faces in the pictures. To my surprise, out of over 35,000 photos I had, only about 3,000 of them contained my face. I guess I'm not really a selfie person, or maybe I looked so different that the face recognition model missed many of my pictures. Either way, 3,000 pictures is more than enough to analyze. I used OpenAI's vision and language model, Clip, to judge each one of those photos for several perceived qualities, including intelligence, trustworthiness, and attractiveness. The way Clip works is that it maps images and text into a shared space, where we can associate them with each other. For example, we can input two text prompts, a photo of a man with a great hairstyle and a photo of a man with a bad hairstyle, and then run the model for a set of images to see which ones are closer to the great hairstyle prompt. Clip is a model that can do many things from image classification to text-guided image generation, but for our purposes we'll use it to score my pictures for different qualities by looking at how close or far away each image is from a set of positive and baseline prompts. I wrote pairs of prompts, like the example I showed before, for intelligence, trustworthiness, attractiveness, and all the other categories. Obviously, these qualities cannot be inferred from a single image, but it's still interesting to see what Clip thinks. Alright, let's fast forward to the results. Here are the, some of the best and worst rated pictures I had for the perceived intelligence category. It looks like the context matters. The top picture is from my graduation, and in the second one I have a company logo in the background, and in the third one I have Stanford University in the background. The next one is trustworthiness, and the results are not surprising. Who wouldn't trust a bicyclist? The lowest rated pictures are from my rapper years. I guess the model is a bit biased against rappers, and the model apparently doesn't like mirror selfies, especially if it's a shirtless one. Attractiveness is a bit tricky. This picture had one of the lowest trustworthiness scores, yet it seems to be rated among the highest for attractiveness. The model likes to seem beards, but strongly dislikes soul patches. Competence seems to be mostly about my age and the context. Likeability is next. Presentation and biking pictures, again, rank among the best. And smiling also seems to make a difference. Confidence seems to be highly correlated with intelligence and competence, except that the model is now okay with the bathroom selfies. As for authenticity, it seems like the model can tell the difference between a genuine smile and a fake one. And as always, it hates soul patches. Growing a soul patch was a, such a terrible idea. Finally, let's take a look at creativeness. Looks like the type of glasses I wear and my hairstyle made the difference. Since I have the date and time information for each photo, I was also able to analyze how these qualities have changed over time. After a bit of temporal smoothing, this is what I got. It seems like my perceived intelligence has increased over the years. Except for summer of 2016, when I took a bunch of shirtless photos to keep track of my workout progress. Trustworthiness score also follows a similar pattern. Looks like the model thinks that guys who take shirtless pictures are not very trustworthy. On the other hand, the model also thinks that shirtless photos are actually attractive. Competence and intelligence also seem to be highly correlated. Likeability seems to have a lower variance and doesn't vary too much between pictures taken around the same time. Looks like my confidence dipped when I was interviewing for my first full-time job and has been stable since I finished school. My creativity seems to be on a roller coaster. This was when I sold my first NFT art, by the way. 
there seems to be some negative correlation between some of these qualities and some positive correlation between some of these, so it's hard to pick the absolute best picture. So I computed an overall score for each picture by taking the geometric average of the scores for each quality. And these seem to be the best overall pictures according to Clip. Now I know what haircut to get next time. I hope you found this fun and interesting. I would love to hear your thoughts on this experiment in the comments below. I think the results made more or less sense, but I would still not take it too seriously since the model surely has its own biases and preferences. Alright, thanks for watching and see you next time.